And uh, let's now catch up with Arty's Alexei Yeryshevsky, who is in Kiev. Now, Alexei, from the embattled streets of the capital there, let's move to the political arena now. Tell us what's been going on then in the country's parliament. Well, if the last several days have been sensational in terms of the level of violence we have seen in the streets of Kiev, today is certainly sensational in terms of political things happening inside the parliament. In the latest move, the Ukrainian parliament has decriminalized the article of the country's criminal code, uh, which landed Yulia Tymoshenko, the former prime minister, into jail for seven years. She's already spent two years, as far as we remember, for the abuse of power. Now, effectively, she may go free. It's really hard to say when that may happen, but it's no longer uh, a criminal punishment for uh, the alleged crimes she committed um, back in 2009. So uh, this is effectively uh, meaning that um, might be a chance, as some people are saying here on the ground at the Independent Square, that uh, the future president of Ukraine is now uh, will now be released uh, back from prison. Uh, obviously, this is uh, directly connected to the fact to the new peace treaty which the opposition and the president have managed to sign, uh, which um, uh, creates a chance for an early presidential election. The date has not yet been set, but now the speculation is rife that this may be between August and December this year, not in January next year, as it was supposed to be. Uh, also, uh, the uh, parliament has already voted to return to the constitution of 2004, which gives more authority to the country's parliament than to the president. And also, uh, there are many other important laws have been accepted by, uh, passed by the RADA, by the parliament today, such as um, decriminalizing all those who took part in the protests and aiding the families of those who were injured in those protests from both sides, from the side of the police and the side of the uh, protesters. It's also a meaning that things are looking really grim for the ruling party because we have already had reports that uh, many deputies, several dozen deputies have defected from the ruling party to the opposition. Uh, and despite what seems to be huge concessions coming from the president, the independent square is still filled with people. It's unclear whether they will actually go home, because if we look in a nutshell, they got what they wanted. They, they will be changing the president sooner than they expected. The government is already down. Uh, the parliament may also be changed. And, and then the constitution of 2004 will be returned. This is something they've been uh, wanting since the very beginning. But it seems they're not completely happy here. I just heard talking from the stage that they want the immediate resignation of the president and him to go on trial, as some say. So we have to wait and see whether the Independence Square will be happy with these conditions. But indeed, these concessions made by the government are huge, uh, to say the least. Arty Alexei Yaroshevsky from the center of the Ukrainian capital. Thanks very much indeed for that live update.